the main goal for V Access is to carry forward the three directions of Petzl as a whole, which is product, information, and training. And of course, for V Access, we can really help and be part of the information and training side of that. V Access has got two directions internal training and formation for Petzl distribution network, but also for research. We can use V-Access as a, a great research centre in between the laboratory test tower and the external field trials. This gives us a, an in-between area for more expansion and knowledge. The beginning of training has started internally with the, the distribution network. The idea for us is to increase the Petzl network, uh, multiply what we can do, be much closer to the end user through feedback from the distributors and from their training providers that they use. Um, a distributor in Italy, for example, using a training centre in Italy, they train the end user. So there's three links in the chain. What we want to use the access for is to be closer to that end user so we can develop solutions much more in accordance with their needs. We don't have the specific knowledge for every aspect that we would like to be involved with. So the whole idea of V-Access, we have a core of trainers, and then it, as and when we need, we will bring in external experts. I'm an FDNY firefighter, and uh, I was involved with the uh, EXO project from the beginning. Maybe there's another window. Look here and go around. A little more dangerous. We're explaining the genesis of the system, where it came from, so these dealers and distributors can go out there and let end users know where the product came from, how it was developed, how it was tested, and uh, they will also be trainers in the project and be able to train others to train end users. The facility is very nice and uh, I can see that it's still growing. It looks like you'll be able to do many different kinds of trainings in here very easily. There are many things we can replicate here. Obviously, it's very different. When you go into real life, there's other external influences, the rain, the wind, the cold, various things like this. It'll never be a true replication. But for here, what we aim to do is take a small part of that industry we can train specifically in there, and then of course the next stage is for that user to go and experience the same outside in the real workplace. We've got quite a big portfolio, if you like, of areas to look at. Externally, we've got the whole outside of the building is all equipped as well. So we've got slopes, we can pour water down, we've got overhangs, we've got some artificial aid routes outside. We've got a pylon you've seen from the outside of the building. There's a silo, uh, an external confined space as well. Internally, Climbing walls for sure, there's vertical climbing walls, overhanging climbing walls. We have a workshop for free falls, for, for climbing falls, rigging with force indicators. The whole of the inside of the building is equipped with um, Wi-Fi and network points where we can put force indicators straight into the, the computer system. Wirelessly we can monitor um, cardiac activity as well, so heart rate activity for any user in any place in the building. 